Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to my Single on Purpose series. This is um, episode two, and we're gonna talk about loneliness. Fucking sun. All right, sun, calm down. I'm not ready for you yet. Let me turn this around because it's so bright. All right, let me show you um, a visual representation of 2020. See my hair here? This is what 2020 looks like if it was hair. Uh, with this face All right, welcome guys. Good morning. How are you? Hey, who in this room is single? Lots of patterns happening here this morning. Look at this weird coffee cup. I Love you too welcome Hey, if you're if you're not single um, You're gonna still get something out of this video. Hopefully and of course, this book. Good morning, guys. What's up? How are you? All right, so today we're going to talk about loneliness. If you're just jumping in, I'm doing a um, holy shit, it's cold. Let me show you, by the way. I'm in the garage um, and uh, it's 740, so my uh, nipples are diamonds because there's a breeze coming in and it's fucking freezing here. Um, I do have a little heater in between my legs downstairs. So um, my testicles aren't coming up to my throat. Uh, and But I have to leave the garage door open or, or the lighting is bad and I'll just be a dark shadow, which actually may be more interesting than this crazy 2020 hair. Where's the heat? It's uh, literally in between my legs. Let me show you. This little here, this is the heat right here. I, I put it right, it's a little heater, put it right in between my legs. And uh, reminds me of college when I used to drive around in a Jeep Wrangler with the top down and the heater blasting. Uh, Timberlands, Raider cap, flannel, thinking I was cool and shit. All right, guys, that was back in the day when uh, those kids were wearing their pants backwards and jumping around. Uh, let's talk about loneliness because it's a real thing, especially when you're single. The first thing I want to say about loneliness is that it's normal. It's a feeling. I, I think the, the thing that people um, mistake with loneliness is they tie their worth to it. So if you're feeling lonely, instead of just being open and knowing that it's a feeling, right, like hunger or like being horny or tired, um, it's part of that box. There's nothing wrong with being lonely. It just means you're human. But I think in our world, in our society, when you are lonely, it means something about you, right? So like when you're hungry, you don't say, oh my God, you know, it means that I'm defective or it means that I'm weak. But when we're lonely or experiencing loneliness, we feel like, um, well, I don't know about you, but uh, when I was single and I felt lonely, I felt like uh, unlovable. I felt like, um, you know, I was the only person on the planet that had these feelings. I felt very alone. I felt a sense of uh, hopelessness, right? And so it's the it's it's that stuff that we tie to loneliness that I think can be dangerous. So I want to read something to you. Um, I don't know how far I'll get, uh, but but in this series, I just like reading a little bit. I'm not a good reader. Just want to point that out. I was a kid in school who was terrified when the teacher would call uh, to, to, for me to read. And by the way, I think, that's I think that's traumatic. I don't know if they're doing that in school these days, but they gotta stop that shit. You should not call on kids, especially kids where uh, English is their second language. And uh, <laughs> I know it's an excuse. And uh, um, to have them stand up, have them stand up. Uh, and, and also at that age, you know, little kids have boners and shit and for no reason. And so you, you're making them stand up and you're making them read in front of the class. So if we know, I know I'm, 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 I know I'm going off topic. If, if we know that public speaking is, maybe that's why terror, maybe that's why it's like the number one fear is because when we're kids, teachers calling us and make us read and we get traumatized and then we grow up and we're like, fuck public speaking. I don't want to do this. All right. How to deal with loneliness. All right. 
Loneliness is a real thing when you're single. That's why I'm starting there because most of us experience it. I get it. I've been there many times. Forget the empowering anthem. I don't need anyone else but myself right now. Okay, forget that, guys. That is a bumper sticker. Although that is true, it requires a journey to get there. Saying the words without taking that journey doesn't bring you automatic empowerment, just an empty flag, just an empty pledge to a fake flag. I'll tell you why you feel lonely, okay? And if you're feeling lonely uh, and you're in a relationship or you're feeling lonely because you're not in a relationship or, or if you're just feeling lonely because of this year, I'll tell you why. Because what you get from an intimate partner is something you can't get from anyone else because those conversations after work and those waffles on Sunday morning help the world make sense because spooning puts you to sleep like a little baby. I'm the little spoon in my relationships, by the way. Um, because tongues feel fucking good, right? Because looking at someone's eyes for longer than three seconds reminds you that we're not meant to do life alone because being emotionally naked makes you feel alive, because you can't really tell your friends how your day went every single day or you won't have any friends, because we're meant to give and share and lose ourselves and find ourselves through others and love hard, because ordering in is so much better when you have someone. So these are normal things. These are, these are things that we want. And we, when we don't have these things, we can feel lonely and it's okay, right? It doesn't mean you're defective and it's okay to want these things. Now, here's what I want to say about being single. If you're lonely and you're single, it's much better than when you're lonely and you're in a relationship, right? If you're feeling these things that I just told you, but you're in a relationship, that is, <laughs> that is a bigger problem. Well, I, I don't want to say a bigger problem because if you're feeling single and, and you're feeling the, if you're single feeling these things, it's not really a problem. Um, it's a normal feeling. But if you're in a relationship and feeling these things, then it is a problem. All right. You feeling lonely because you want these things and um, oh, you feel lonely because you want these things and you haven't found someone to experience them with. And that's OK. There's no reason to skirt that and force yourself to go on some kind of eat pray love journey to auto-correct your emotional self unless you feel that is what you need. But for many, and by many I mean most, we're just lonely because we haven't found someone to love. That's it. Stop judging and labeling it. If you haven't slept, you're going to be tired. If you haven't loved anyone in a while, you're going to crave that experience and feel lonely. Here's where I'm going to drive it home, guys. But there's a difference between the feeling of loneliness and I am lonely, right? One is an experience, a feeling that comes and goes. The other is an identity, tightly tied to your sense of worth. Instead of just being aware of the feeling, you have attached meaning to it. You are lonely. Because you are lonely, you believe there's something wrong with you. You're too old or too fat or whatever. But if it's not your fault, but it's not your fault, the knot has been tightly, tightly tied by society. Whether you know it or not, you have been programmed. Think about it. How many shows or movies have you seen where the protagonist doesn't find love or, you know, uh, Prince Charming doesn't find the one, right? How many don't get the girl or never find their man? Loneliness is the struggle that needs to be overcome. Once you conquer it, only then will you feel happy. And I don't know if, if um, and I wrote this, so I want to correct myself. I don't know if the word is conquer, um, but it's something that you feel through. You know, it's something that you uh, allow yourself to feel because you're human and it's just a part of life. Hey guys, good morning. All the new people jumping in. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I will continue my single on purpose series and I hope you join me every morning. Um, hey, do you guys have questions or comments? Have you guys uh, pre-ordered the book? I want to say we've got about 12 days before it launches. If you pre-order the book now, we give you um, one month access into the lab. And I just got to say, uh, the lab was created during the pandemic and it's one of the best things that's happened um, in my life. It's amazing. We've got, oh uh, God, we have 24, 23, live Zoom classes a week um, with a kick-ass team of therapists and coaches, personally picked. And uh, everything from 
codependency to uh, singlehood to trauma to a life group that I run. We got a men's group coming. We got a women's intimacy just for women. We have breath work. We have yoga nidra. Anyway, it's the whole. It's the big box of crayons. The forty-eight set, and it continues to grow. Um, but but more importantly than the classes, you're getting to hang out with like-minded people. And I really believe that um, communities are the way to grow these days, whether it's fitness, um, you know, yoga, surfing, motorcycles, it doesn't matter. Being a part of a community uh, with like-minded people, it's, it's just gonna sharpen you, make you accountable. So jump into the lab, uh, you get it free for a month. If you pre-order my book, click my bio link or just go to uh, tat, T-A-T slash lab.com and you can see it there. All right, guys, great hanging out with you. And um, I'm gonna go push my hair down and uh, have some more coffee um, and brush my teeth.